combo as they throw With out the that arrow, able to connect. Fly in some trouble, and one last punch from Noir, able to get the kill. Despite it being a little bit down on CS, very deadly. A even matchup. This is not an even one, and he is crushing it. Going for a kill with the Ravage down bottom. Crits there to follow it up with an impale. And I'll kill off Leslow. If they can find it for the kill, jump in. Coconut connects the Maledict as well. He has taken a ton of damage, and that might just be enough to take him down. Zartizi will pop to the Maledict in a moment. Maybe yes. Quinn gets the kill. It comes at the cost of LOA. They take that one every day of the week. But if they lose Quinn now, that might be a little bit worse for Ravaging the wear. Lore comes out, trying to show up. Les Lyle turns on the crit, finds that kill. So they find another follow-up pickoff. And you are moving into position, but the Ravage comes out in time. MSS now moving over, trying to take down Fly. They're fighting in the jungle. Les Lyle going to drop. Ahmed gets out. Now Ice Ice Ice. Just gonna walk at Noir and say, come in. They're coconut going in. Maledict as well. Everything dropped on his head. And I think I said I dead. They're canceling. Well, they're still going in with the TPs. Abed goes in for the coil, connects on it to a fly there as well. Wants to pop the ulti and make something happen here. But in the end, it's MSS and LOA. Oh, they get less loud too. That would be big. Noir moving in. So much damage. Has the stone gaze. Needs to make something happen here. The silence on to several. Less loud goes down. Doesn't quite connect, but they do get the puck. And Abed dropping now. And Quinn's looking for more as he finds crit here. Hiding behind the tower. A couple more punches is all he needs. And a double kill for Quinn. Quincy crew are, are kind of pulling this back a bit. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Mid. Needs to be careful. Ravage is down. Ooh, spike careful though. And now the turnaround with the Ravage. Oh, it would have been huge if they could have killed Ice Ice Ice, but it didn't work out. Now popping the stone gaze and trying to back out. They still got their eyes on ice. The slowdown comes from those necro books on it and kill. Lose the tier three. Abed moving target. in. He's going after it. Less loud has more available. Thinking about going for it. Drops instead onto the Nyx. And Aegis going to go the way of Quincy crew. At the meantime, Arteezy's hitting the melee racks, but they're all coming back now. Pops the BKB, wants to finish this one off. TP's out of there. But they're in the Moonlight Shadow. Oh, they have Same vision soon. now. They got vision now. Jumps in, Ravage pop, BKBs immediately. Oh. Did not do what they wanted it to. And now okay. self stun on Arteezy. He's under control, axes go out. Still, they're just ignoring him for the moment. Running in with everybody else, trying to take down Ice 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 and the CM. Ice tries to go back to base. They got people in the side. The chase down continues to come. Their BKBs wearing off now though. And Arteezy jumps, finds the kill onto one. Now looking for a bit more. So Khan comes out afterwards. Roar drops down, trying to get the kill out of the Alchemist. The right clicks coming through. They kill him off. Force the South have five back. Fly with the big ulti. Will it be enough? They take down Quinn. Abed still standing tall throughout all of this. Ice 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 is back up front center against the war. The sun goes out. On to two. Arteezy now cleaning Aww. through a boat. What a huge play. Nipsy crew are going to lose absolutely everybody. I, that was what a freaking great turnaround from Evil Geniuses. I mean, it cost a lot, but they got those kills. Right now, buybacks only on Beastmaster Marana oh, for the Dire. Looking for the jump. Ravage comes out. They didn't BKB in time. They got you are. Taking down Dusa dead. No buyback. Huge win as Quinn just tries to back away. Oh, it's Devastus. Uh, it's coming off of cooldown right now. Pretty soon here for the Radiant. Still a minute and a half. LOA. Right on top of him, going for the voodoo switcheroo. But on the other side, they catch the kill on a crit. Abed, oh, wow. Abed, thinking about Stolen gem. for more. Wow. Because can't let the juice die right away. So right now they're going, this is like their only win condition in the game. A quick respawn sets it up for them perfectly. Courier goes down, Nick's still 30 seconds away. Throwing smoke out up. those arrows, smoke behind. Looking for a play here. Arteezy ready to jump in on everybody. BKB right for the BKB. Look from your war, saving his life, but I'm in. He's next to the ages. Oh, that was so needed. Now tries to Jeez. jump away. Arteezy is in a swirl of hurt, though. Goes for the flicker out of there. Manages to escape. Fly on the other He's side. He's turning. Arteezy's back in. So much damage in the jump on Adusa. Now in trouble. Now dead. No buyback for Dusa, and look at that Alchemist run on in. Triple kill for our tour. Dude, that flicker was sick. Oh my god, ultra kill. Go for more. Make my day, please. He's chasing in once another. GG's already been called. Evil geniuses will not be denied. Wow, what a team fight to end the game on. You are ready for it. He knew the one play you were going to make. Not the fast fingers on the BKB, but Arteezy just played that team fight so well. 
dispels so many answers. Um, that game was wild. Uh, I mean, Ali, going into that, like, did, did it kind of go the way that you, you felt like it would? It felt like after the laning stage, uh, we were all kind of writing off Quincy Group, but they were able to pull it back, and then EG just sort of smack the hammer down. What did you think about the... the sort of it's just on this orange of this part. Hi, <laughs> buddy. How's it going? It's all good. Um, easy for Leslo? Oh, oh, boy. They're going to chase down the Eidolon's bottom. Yeah, he just summoned these Eidolons, and they're going to instantly kill them. Oh, the station here is easier. Looking for it. Arrow, oh, nice oh, arrow. Oh, 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 Mojo. Nice. So sexy. Looks like they recognize that. Quinn's a little bit too tanky here. He's got the plus 10 armor now. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, and they're setting up again. Not as good of rune control. Dodges the stun. Rune is bottom anyways. And MSS throws out the arrow. So high size, size TP's mid refills the bottle. Are they going to make an aggressive play on Quinn here? It looks like that's the call. They're uh, committing exorcism oh and everything. Yeah, dropping it all. And the pullback in with the exorcism going. Quinn trying to make his escape. Not going to happen. Had a fairy fire, but it wasn't going to matter. And yeah, on their own on Yuar's out. It doesn't look like they have the damage, though. Looking for it. Oh, Quinn in the area. Avalanche. Oh, good interrupt there. That would have been the kill for Abba the game anyway. Oh. What a play. Quincy crew. Take down both of them. Meanwhile, TC is in Struggleville. He's just, I need this hard to die. That's his idea right now. And they're bringing everybody. I'm trying to defend this. It's like, can realize. you this tower? Because they can actually burst someone. Wolf Stomp oh. onto two. They catch Fly. Fly's dead. But they find another. Need to be careful. Less Lau moving in. And the jump away. MSS, he actually living there. Toss back. They've got Black Hole available if they need it. Drops it down onto both. Ooh, but cancel. Abed gets in there to play a little bit of mischief. Throwing out the damage. But I think that with Abed showing Body up, that's enough. Too. Looking for yeah, the follow-up. They have Blink. Looking for the jump, maybe. And Abed, Abed have a toss killed. Nice. I think Ice Ice needs to, yeah. Perhaps he's going to turn around because he's Ice Ice Ice, but he's in trouble. Uh, uh, so tiny spells of five. He's dead. <laughs> oh my goodness. Right. Well, timing here. They're going to go for this fight. This is deadly. Got to be super careful about that BKB. Silence onto one. They caught Quinn, but from the low ground, Leslau has ulti if he wants to drop it, but Spike Carapace is too tough. No, he gets it on the Great three. Hole. Is there enough damage here? Trying to get that stun follow-up. Takes down Ice Ice Ice. Looking for crit now. Oh, and they do have him in their sight. Stun comes out, but it's a bit too late. What a black hole from Leslau. Am I still going RTC here? Oh, wow, yeah. Ooh, there is a black hole. Yo, this guy's crazy. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know, exactly. I know he's over there. RTC, you're wild, man. The chase he's down. This would be a good bait. Look at this bait. Oh, what a bait. What a bait. Now, eyes on Leslau. Tries to blow him up. Stun comes out afterwards. Abed on the back line, killing him off. Silence is there. Wasn't able to get the black hole off in time. Quinn looking for a is big jump afterwards. Can they kill him off in time, though? Avalanche tossed dead on Abed. Ice, 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 the last one remaining in the area with three already dead. But Artizi comes slash. back in now. And the Omni Slash is going to be split between the two of them. And that is going to keep alive Yawar for the moment. LOA taking on that one down. Avalanche to buy a little bit of extra space as Yuar continues to try and get out of there. The buyback comes from Edge. That might be enough to stop the pressure. Scary crit looking for the big jump. Stun on it too. Back to way. Silence on to both of them as well. They have the Midnight Pulse down. And well, Yuar just jumps on. Wants to find the chase down. Kills off Abed. What a fight right there. Now Omni is a Flash room. bouncing before a couple of them. I don't know if this is going to be good enough though. RTZ. Mess of them Quinn's back out. Back have the exorcism already going, but the avalanche toss coming from Quinn takes him down to about a quarter HP, and you are comes in for the finish. Got eyes on him, but vision right now. LOA is scouted. Avalanche toss, they blow up the Nyx assassin. No buyback. Now, oh, Arteezy going to be revealed as well. Les Lau, he's got Blink, BKB. Yuar goes in. Abyssal Blade is out. None follow-up is all the way there. Arrow is going to connect afterwards. Drop everything on his head. No chance and getting out of there at all. They take down the Jug, now eyes on Ice Ice Ice. He's doing a lot of damage with this Exorcism. Queuing up the stun afterwards, tries to get out of there, blink forward, doesn't manage to connect on Ice Ice Ice, he's just gonna BKB and TP out of there. Rexy going for the Black Hole mid. Well, jumps in, drops it down, why not? Completely dismantling, no buyback on the Jug. And Quincy crew knew what they needed and they took it right there. 
he bought that Scotty. I don't think he's done any damage. Exorcism comes out. The big pull afterwards. No. Next thing you know, to all of them actually takes down both. There's no Alk now for 90 seconds. Has buyback. But they're also going to have an opening here onto Tiny. Les Lau wants to move back in. Doesn't have their refresher yet. So no black hole. But Quinn, a bit too big as he comes back for a second life and takes down Ice Ice Ice. I think they've got enough here as another jump coming from downtown Abed looking for an opening. They pull back Quinn yet again. Drop down to about a quarter HP. No cheese on that tiny as he eventually drops down. But the OR comes back in and now looking for the chase down on Ice Ice Ice. He is an absolute madman. As he runs in, hits the tier four towers. GG is called. We're going to a game three. Oh, that's, that's exciting. Both these teams, you know, you can see kind of how evenly matched they are. Just small little things leading to Quincy having a pretty big advantage this game, but... On Quinn, like, all the games. It just lets him, like, trade regen for CS really well. Got him. Silence. And some trouble. That's a huge kill. For teams who have taken games off EG in this tournament, you That's know. true. A slow. No mana right now to drop the roar down. Ooh, they forced the puck TP. Oh, Coil. Ooh, Chase coil. looking for more. Fly is there with the Frostbite, but the lift back onto Abed. Trouble. Dead. Leslau will fall, but they get Damn. the kill on the much higher priority mid. And they take down the healing ward afterwards, but you are right on top of them. And, well, they have no mana for spin, but it should have enough with just the beat down here. I think I oh still goodness. managing to live, actually. Wow. That's crazy. How is this been alive? Firestorm on the Firestorm, died the firestorm <gasps> either. So he couldn't get the kill. What's he doing? This is, this is crazy! Uh, what? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> he saw the Rubik illusion. He thought it was a real Rubik, I guess. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. I'm not sure, but. That's a why you feed, you know? Okay. Gotcha. Oh, silence on the mix. Well, on the other side of the map as well, as they're trying to get that kill on the crit, it looks like Leslau likely to fall. So, two simultaneous kills going on cross map. In particular, these teams have been really good about uh, the bounce between smokes and plays. I think game one, we saw like four fights from the 10 There as well. This should be a lot of damage rather rapidly. There are some heroes in the oh, area. Three off. Can't get there in time. Ooh, crit. Gets caught oh, by his own pale. And they hit them both. Nicely played. Win now on top of this puck, trying to get him a good stun. Burned Comes it. out afterwards, and Abed eventually oh. burning down to death. MSS gets the finish. Crit also in trouble. Obviously, no TP means they'll be able to run down the Snix Assassin. Very, very nicely done by Quincy. Although it did cost them the Beast Oh, Mojo. Oh, it's actually geez. messed up. This is like the Lion 25 talent. What a better oh, stop. The Rap. They're coming. Catch is already oh, on the God. fly. The stun's not going to be there, but they got a bigger stun coming in a moment from the Rubik. Lift up afterwards if they want it. Arteezy walks back in. Coil down. On to two. Doesn't look like it's going to be enough. They've already taken down the Underlord and the CM, and now hunting for more. No, EG's actually smoked out, trying to snipe this battery in through. Uh, okay. Good coil, but dead again. Oh, Dude, this, and he's uh... still coil. Oh, no. <laughs> it's only level one, though. Don't worry. Like, yeah. He doesn't do the sieges. He did pretty well in lane. Oh, with, uh, no. except, oh chase coil? down. Crit just dying to play Fury. He gets completely wrecked. Omni Slash back up, doesn't have the mana, needs five seconds away. When the lift up, they're dark drifting away inside their base behind the tier four towers, oh, but man. Quincy crew just all over them right now. This team that has so long been the bridesmaid, never the bride in North America. And finally trying to take this one down here against evil geniuses who are backs away again. And yeah, still hanging on. But Quincy crew not gonna be denied. They walk forward, oh no, the Omni Slash Connecting onto everybody, Arteezy hasn't gotten a right click off with his rapier. Rapier down on the ground, chase down coming through. And just like that, good game is called Ultra Kill for Yawar to end it. What a pretty showing from Quincy Crew. Fantastic self. And well-deserved win. Like both game two and game three, just heavily outplaying EG, controlling the map better. And even game one, when they were down in the lane stage and losing, they looked like they were on the same footing as EG. So really impressive best of three. Yeah. So good. Uh, I mean, they played really well. EG, honestly, it's like they didn't play bad these games, I don't think. I think Quincy Crew's strength is just showing. Like, you think